I wanted to tell the story of Sue Yi, who was a work experience student I had a few years ago. She was a decorative arts student at Nottingham Trent University and she approached me to do some work experience at, at my studio and she was really good at that so um, she started working for me properly and became my friend. When she graduated she set up a ceramic studio of her own and did really well at the start of her career. She started winning prizes, going to exhibitions and shows all over the country. But then her student visa ran out and she had to apply for leave to remain, which unfortunately was refused. So she had to sell everything, pack up and go back to Hong Kong, where she is now. I think Sue Yi's story is a really good example of the experiences of a lot of people who move away from their home country for work or study. And it reflects the difficulties and problems that can sometimes be encountered by people when they move away to a new country and want to start a new life. So a few months ago, I went on a research trip to the b and Museum and went to the Chinese Ceramics Department and I found this vase, which was made in Jingzhen in the 1680s to 1720s. It's a traditional porcelain blue and white vase and it shows panels depicting a story. I think it was a popular folk story at, at the time. And I thought that was a perfect way to tell Su Yi's story in pictorial form. And because she's from Hong Kong and the vase was Chinese, I thought that would be a really nice link to her contemporary story, to the past. So I thought to tell Su Yi's story on a, a classic Chinese vase format was a really nice way to link her contemporary story with the experiences of Chinese people. I've become very interested in using found text as a jumping off point for my own work. And also I thought it was really important that Su Yi's story was told in her own words. So I went through her Facebook page and picked out the most relevant posts and used those as a starting point for my illustrations. I think using the format of Facebook posts very much sets Su Yi's story in its time because um, I think like a lot of digital media, Facebook is going to go out of fashion in a few years time or maybe even sooner. And so um, her story told as a Facebook format will really set it in, in the time that it happened.